Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm going to be customizing and reviewing the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Now before we get into this customization and review, in case you guys have purchased it this week, when I'm making this video it is 40% off as I'm sure you know that's probably why you bought it in the first place, or you're wondering if you should buy it. To get the Insurgent Pickup, you can buy it from Warstock Cash Carry right here for $1,350,000 and the total cost is going to be just under $2 million, but with the 40% discount, it is obviously going to be quite a bit cheaper. Now, in order to make the pickup into the pickup custom, you're also going to need an MOC or an Avenger. Either of the two will work, and you need to have a weapon and vehicle workshop inside of them. So if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to upgrade these things. Now, you may be wondering, how do you have two of them? Well, First of all, you're going to have to call Pegasus once you buy this thing and spawn it in like that. Go and get into it and then bring it to your MOC and you will find the upgrade option to turn it from the Insurgent Pickup into the Insurgent Pickup Custom. So I figured I'd do a little guide right at the start of the video because I'm sure some of you guys are going to be really confused about how I had two of them and also about how to actually make it into the Pickup Custom. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and take the regular Insurgent Pickup into the MOC and go ahead and make it into the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Now when you get in here you will find this screen where you basically have the option to upgrade it and it's going to cost $202,500 which is not a bad price honestly. For what you're getting this thing is insane so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to the Pickup Custom. And as you guys can see now that I've completed that transition it has turned into the Pickup Custom and it's unlocked a bunch of different customization options. We're gonna be talking about all of these. Uh, the first and most important option, arguably, is probably the armor plating option. Now, this vehicle actually came out with the bunker update, so that means that a lot of the stuff for these vehicles is gonna be unlocked through bunker research. Now, for example, light armor plating is a default option. I also believe that medium armor plating is a default option, uh, but heavy armor plating, you do have to research if you do want to get it. Heavy armor plating, and same with medium armor plating, will also restrict the use of weaponry inside of the Insurgent Pickup Custom. So if you want to use weapons, you're going to have to use light armor or no armor plating. So keep that in mind. The medium armor plating and the heavy armor plating does protect the gunner quite a bit better. But as far as the actual window pieces here, it actually does nothing. Pretend this isn't even here because you'll still get shot right through this. So for most players, you're probably going to want to go light armor or you're going to want to go no armor. I personally really like the look of heavy armor plating, so I'm going to go with heavy armor plating on mine. Even though, like I said, it does restrict the use of weapons, you cannot shoot out uh, being the driver or anything like that. So you do have to keep that in mind. Next up, we got the brake. We're going to go all the way up on that. Same with the engine. All the performance stuff you're going to want to do to this thing. Xenon lights, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. I'm also going to put on a neon kit so that I can see at nighttime, and also it will lower the center of gravity ever so slightly, so that is a good thing. Now, as far as the livery options go, a ton of these are also unlocked through Bunker Research. Probably anything under Urban Warrior, I would say, is Bunker Research. Um, yeah, it actually says right here. This item was unlocked via research in the bunker property and it'll say that for all the ones that it is unlocked with uh, so basically just anything below urban warrior nature reserve and down is all bunker research only so do keep that in mind um, now as far as the livery goes for this thing i think that i'm probably gonna go for my for my urban warrior i really like the look of this and i think that you can make it look super clean as far as the plate goes i'm gonna go yellow and black today now you can also unlock the proximity mine dropper and i believe this is also unlocked through bunker research it doesn't say that it is but i think that it actually is so keep that in mind it might not be though so you never know if you can put it on, you definitely should. It's very useful. It's not an oil slick. Like the Amani Tech cars, it is an explosive proximity mine. So do keep that in mind. As far as the color goes, I'm gonna go with my classic. I like to do a matte black. I think that it makes this thing look really, really sick if you do um, matte black with this particular camo on it. I think it just looks amazing. It looks like, like Russian military camo or something like that, I feel like. But anyways, we got that on here. Uh, as far as suspension goes, if you want this thing to perform off-road, I would definitely advise keeping it stock. However, if you're not really planning to take it off-road, which I don't really know who's planning to just keep an insurgent on-road, um, then maybe go competition, but I think 
think that stock is generally the best. Race transmission, gotta go for it. Turbo as well, for sure. Now, as far as the weapons go, you can also upgrade the weapon system on the top of this thing from a machine gun to a 50 cal minigun. However, the machine gun is actually far superior. The accuracy is much better. The fire rate is slower, but it does much more damage. So depending on what you want to do, if you want just more shots downrange, the minigun might be better for you. But if you want to actually take people out, the machine gun is always going to be the better option. So keep that in mind. I would keep the machine gun on mine. I usually have the minigun, but this time around, I'm going to go different. As far as the wheels go, um, this doesn't really matter performance-wise. Off-road tires are generally the best, so I'm going to go with the Concave Rally Master because it's my favorite off-road wheel. So we'll do that. We'll do them in black. We will also have bulletproof tires on this thing, even though they actually come with it, so don't worry about that. I mean, you can remove them if you want, but I don't know why you would do that. And then for the window tint, we're going to go all the way out. And that is everything that you can do to the Insurgent Pickup Custom. It might not seem like a lot, but when you actually take this thing and use it, uh, you start to understand why it is so good. So you will also see now that I've exited the MOC that my Insurgent Pickup Custom that was there before we went in is now gone. And that's because this is now a personal vehicle. So upgrading it into the Pickup Custom also makes the Insurgent Pickup a personal vehicle, meaning that you can store this in any of your garages, meaning that you can call it with the mechanic, which is super useful. So do keep that in mind. There are benefits to making the Insurgent Pickup into the Pickup Custom. Uh, it's definitely worth it, I would say for sure. Now, as far as the performance goes on the Insurgent Pickup Custom, I do believe that it is faster than the regular Insurgent. In fact, I'm almost 100% sure. It might be very slight, but it is definitely faster. The Insurgent Pickup Custom can also hold nine players as opposed to six in the regular Insurgent, so it is better for that as well. The top mounted machine gun can do a ton of damage and you can also seat two players in the bed so you do have some good firepower with this thing and like I said if you don't put heavy armor on everyone in the vehicle can fire the weapons from the inside. Uh, so that is pretty cool. You can definitely output a lot of damage with the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Now also as far as the defensive capabilities go this thing can take 9 RPGs or 27 homing missiles from an Oppressor Mark II, from somebody standing on foot using a homing launcher, uh, from jets, pretty much anything that's a homing missile will take 27 uh, to take this thing out, which is pretty damn good. So the armor is insane on this thing. Small arms fire and stuff like that, you just generally don't even have to worry about it, to be honest. It's basically nothing to this. You can go on a five-star police chase for probably a couple hours in the Insurgent Pickup Custom and not really have to worry about it. And what I also really like about the Insurgent Pickup Custom is how high up it is because it puts anybody who's on foot at a disadvantage because they have to aim so far up at you and your head is only going to barely poke over, you know, right here at the bottom of the window and that is where this thing is armored. But as you can see, the armor plating doesn't really work. I can still shoot the glass straight through this. Now it is a little bit bullet resistant, but it's it's not good enough that you're not gonna you know get smoked. So do keep that in mind as well. Um, yeah, definitely don't rely on the on the windows for this thing to protect you. You're gonna have to just you know be careful pretty much. Uh, but anyways, as far as performance goes in the Insurgent Pickup Custom, it actually has phenomenally good handling for being such a giant military vehicle. Another cool fact about the Insurgent is that when you go into like mid-air, this thing always wants to land on four wheels. So I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm going to go off this jump right here. It has a really weird like weight balance to it and it's because it's so heavy at the bottom, but it hates being upside down and stuff like that. Like I'm going to try to show you this. Hopefully this is a big enough hill. No, it's not really. It's pretty hard to get an actual hill that's going to work to demonstrate what I'm trying to show you. But just know that this thing is kind of like a cat. It always wants to land on four wheels or four legs. And you'll see right here, it's a little bit front heavy, but then it starts to come back. So that's another cool feature about the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Um, the Insurgent is like that as well, just for the record. Now with the proximity mines, you can spam these things. You can put down five of them at a time and you can drop them as quickly as I'm dropping them right now. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And it does kind of allow the driver of the vehicle to have some sort of a weapon system that they're able to use. Obviously, it's only dropping them behind you. So it's kind of reliant on somebody chasing you. But you can also set up like a trap with it as well. Like, for example, I can put proximity mines across the road here so that, you know, this guy's coming. And... Sorry, buddy. It's all in the name of testing. 
It's all in the name of testing, buddy. Sorry. But the Insurgent Pickup Custom generally is a very good vehicle. It's definitely something that I do recommend. It is one of the more armored vehicles in the game. It's relatively quick for what it is. It has decent handling. The off-road performance is also excellent. I would say it's probably the best out of all of the, you know, pretty heavily armored vehicles in the game. It has a good amount of ground clearance, so you can, you know, make it over dunes and stuff relatively easily. It's also four-wheel drive. I think that probably goes without saying, but it is so that, you know, you can climb, you know, very steep surfaces like this rock, for example. You can get up here no problem. Insurgent is one of the best off-road vehicles in the game. Uh, also, due to its relatively high height, you can go through, you know, low amounts of water relatively easily. You know, you can probably cross the, the canyon river, you know, not much problem. Um, just don't get stuck in there for too long. But the Insurgent Pickup Custom generally is just an awesome vehicle. And while it's 40% off this week, I would definitely recommend picking this thing up if you guys have never had one. And if you've had your eye on it for a while, now is definitely the time to pick it up. Overall, the Insurgent Pickup Custom is definitely a good vehicle to pick up this week, guys. I hope that some of you guys are going to pick it up. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you are planning to pick this thing up this week. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. Hopefully you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.